Alrighty guys, next up in our Bali series, we are doing the drop off today. Drop off and Coral Gardens. It's a double whammy today. Yeah, this was actually an epic dive. It's a nice sand bottom you go with a sheer cliff going down, full of marine life, really cool little critters, and also the Coral Gardens. We were flying, weren't we? Yeah, so what happens is drop off is here, Coral Gardens is here, and then just a little bit further away is the Liberty Shipwreck. For the first dive, we did drop off with zero current. For the second dive, we did Coral Gardens and we got pushed all the way to the shipwreck. And then we got out there and we did a one-way dive for that one. Which is awesome to cover on that ground, seeing so many different dives this along the way. And we also had blue ribbon re eels, which are awesome to see. But you guys are gonna enjoy this. So let's jump in and go explore the drop off in Coral Gardens. Woohoo, see let's ya. Jump. Bye. Take 10 minutes. I have the four. What? 50. Morning, guys. Morning. Good morning, man. How are you today? You good? Morning. Morning. Okay, Daniel Equipment. So we okay, get over there, yourself. <laughs> so we wait just for uh, analysis. We I drop not yet the uh, check. We're all ready to drop in and explore the drop off. Now this is one of the most popular dives in Bali. We heard so much about it that it was a special dive in the northeast of the island and we were so excited. Now what you do is you enter from the shore and we have this gradual slope coming down in the black volcanic sands. And what it has, the sand is full of nutrients. As you see the goatfish going crazy in the sand trying to eat everything that's there. I'm like, wow, that is so cool. There's little anemones growing where we have anemone fish, like clownfish Nemo, and we have puffer fish, we have flounders even cruising around. So even though at the beginning of the dive, you're like, what am I looking at? There's loads of life. And there's me practicing a bubble ray. Nailed it. Didn't even know Holly was watching and nailed it. And she got on camera. And then I'm like, oh, you're watching me. Let me show you how it's done. Fail. Nah. Okay, okay. We're gonna try again. We've got this. We're gonna do this again. Fail. Nah. Third time's a charm. Yes. See? See? I can do them. See? I'm like, Holly, look. I'm proud of myself. I did it. And she's like, well done. Here's a pat on the head for you. Really well done. Proud of you. Anyway, back to the dive. Now, as we reach along, we start seeing coming out of the sand to the rock formations for the start of the drop off. And Yadina has noticed an electric clamp. Now it's not really showing it right now, but this was flashing blues really brightly, which is so cool to see. Now, the reef is full of marine life. There's loads of fish on it. Even though you saw the volcanic sand all flat, with just rocks and a lot of macro stuff in the area, like mantis shrimps, nudibranchs, you get to the reef and it's full of life. There's fish everywhere, and it was really spectacular to see. Even when I looked around, I even saw a little sharp orange color pointing out. I followed it down and look what we spot. A nice big mori eel. This was so cool to find as well. And we did find quite a few mori eels hiding in the reef. Now this dive site is the drop off. So it's the end of the bay of the entry for two dive sites. And it's right at the corner where it's going out to a point, hence the drop off. And the scale of it is unreal. It, comes up from about five meters and goes all the way down to 80 to 100 meters. But I'm gonna be a good buddy and check how much air Holly has. No doubt, she's 30 bar better off than me because she does not breathe and shows me up. Now, if any of you guys know what this fish is, please let us know. We couldn't find out what it was called, but we saw them everywhere and they were so cool waving around, around the reef. 
But Holly, you see, clicking her fingers. The reason she's clicking her fingers is she's trying to get the attention of the shrimp again. What happened in, as you guys will remember from the Caribbean videos, is Holly would put her fingers next to Pedersen cleaning shrimp and they'd come and clean her fingers. She was trying the same again here, but they weren't as interested. But you look around this dive site, we see the huge wall coming down and these massive Gorgonian sea fans. Now these sea fans are always positioned in areas of high current, high water volume, because they'll just let the water movement come through and give the nutrients it wants to feed off, which is pretty cool. And the size of them run real. They were bigger than the holly. But as you can see, the wall comes straight up from depth. And we're even sitting at 23, 24 meters. And you can see that wall is just coming up really large. And this was what was spectacular. There was fish everywhere, healthy marine life. Now I know the water looks very dark, but that's not the case. It's the reason why is because it's volcanic sand. And with volcanic sand, you don't get the reflection from the sun as much. So it gives that a more dark, eerie view underwater, but it's really not because the visibility is 30, 40 meters and 29 degrees warm. The visibility was actually spectacular. The GoPros make it look a little bit less. If I had white sand, it looks so much brighter, but it's because Bali is a volcanic island at the end of the day. Holly is in our little dance mode, as always, and she's up to mischief. I'm filming, away. Back to her, away. Back again. No, nope, I failed that. Holly's like, what are you doing? You're an idiot. No, look. Bit of behind the scenes for you guys. She's like, pan, away. Pan, away. Okay, take two. Pan, Holly's there. Away. Pan. She's back. Pan. Boom. She's there. Pan. Yep, yeah, head bobbed me. That's what I knew she was up to. The girl was crazy. But as we make our way back to shore, to the exit point of the dive site, we're heading back across the stunning reef. And the great thing is, even though Holly's been crazy, God knows what she's doing now. Just Holly on the dive, just the way she always is, but she's always having fun. Working as instructors, we always want to have fun on our days off but we're working our way back to the beach to get ready for our second drive. Because at this dive site, we have two sites, the drop off and coral gardens. So guys, get ready as we head our way for our service info to have an awesome dive at coral gardens. Here's chilling, fishing boat crashes in behind you. The boat. Another awesome dive. I head back, change gear for the second dive. All good? All good, mate? Good? Yeah, yeah. We're all ready to drop in to Coral Gardens. Now this dive is actually only 10 meters deep, maximum really 15 meters is the most it has. So you don't really need to go too deep on this site. What they've done at this site is they've actually sunk a lot of artifacts, kind of like a museum they've tried to create, an artificial structure of reef. Now there is really healthy coral reef around with cool moray eels tiding away small fish, schools of fish, sweet lips, so much life, butterfly fish, and even, as I see the guys pointing down, chilling, holding against the current, a blue ribbon eel, which is really cool to see. 
They were really so bright and electric and the yellow stands out so much. But one thing we noticed quite quickly was the current is picking up. As you saw from the guys sitting there looking at the ribbon eel, the bubbles were going back. You can see myself getting pushed backwards, going along this dive site, and we realised very quickly that we were not going to be able to swim back to the start. We knew the current was going to be taking us away. As we arrive at the main coral gardens, you see the structures all there, but you see the bubbles going back as well. So we could have tried to swim back, but we decided, do you know what? Let's just fly off the current and see as many structures as we can, which was probably the better idea because we had some fun seeing traditional Balinesian temples, Hindu, Buddhist temples, ornaments. We saw mantis shrimp hiding around. We also saw leafy scorpion fish, which look very similar to a frogfish, but they are actually different. And this was what was really cool. You see in the background, I love Tulumun. This is the town that we were staying in. It's a traditional fishing village, so they have the fishing structures as well, sculptures, which is so cool to see. But we're just gonna fly with the current to wherever it ends us. And funny enough, it pretty much took us all the way back to the USAT Liberty Shipwreck, which is an awesome shipwreck. And if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I'll tag it up in the type, top right corner here. But guys, really hope you enjoyed flying along with us on this dive of the Coral Gardens and the drop off. Don't forget to subscribe. And guys, we have a trip to Bali in October. So check the details below so you guys don't miss out. Yeah, good.